In the semi-arid county of Makweni, what started as a small self-help group has in a short five years transformed into a vibrant cooperative society engaging in fruit sales for both local and the export market. Despite the aridity, the county of Makweni is blessed with abundant citrus and mango trees boasting the highest density of grafted mango trees in the country. Organizing into small self-help groups were the farmer's way of seeking better incomes for their crop. After several unfruitful ventures, a determined group of farmers approached one of the horticultural and food security program consortium partners, SNV, for advice on the best route to effective food marketing. Farmers suffer a lot of post-harvest losses. I would not say it's only post-harvest, but there's also a lot of pre-harvest losses. In actual sense, they said the pre-harvest losses are much more than post-harvest losses. So this project wanted to support or to mitigate on post-harvest losses and uh, create uh, better mechanisms and management of uh, farmers accessing the domestic markets and also the regional markets. With SNV on board offering advisory services, initial analysis revealed the areas requiring intervention. SNV went to work transforming the self-help group into the cooperative society it is today. A business strategic management approach was adopted for the group. SNV agreed to finance uh, people to team up with us, Minister of Agriculture, to do a feasibility study. Uh, that was followed immediately by a business investment plan. That was followed closely by a business strategic plan, which was done and financed by SNV. The cobwebs that we had were taken away. Now we saw what animal we are calling Makuene Count, a fruit processing plant is. The group's business plan came with practical solutions that the horticultural and food security program has been helping the group implement. We supported them in having an input store where the farmers, with or without money, they could still access uh, the input at the right time. Uh, two, we supported them in terms of getting the motorized sprayers. As you know, like uh, for the mango trees, they're a bit big, so you really have to have the motorized sprayer rather than the knapsack. The knapsack does not get there. The other aspect that uh, we supported was through capacity building. Institutions to do with, especially the smallholder, you'll have all the right, uh, maybe, uh, initiative in terms of market and all that. But people tend to side sell a lot and do so many other things. They have really packaged us. One, through ideas. Two, training, exposure. And even uh, negotiating on our behalf. Whenever they locate somebody or an organization that can help, they have blown the whistle uh, on our behalf. Designed with the technical assistance and guidance of the horticultural program, the construction of five collection centers serve dual purposes and aim to make the program sustainable. Those collection centers will be training centers for the farmers to impart knowledge, to impart any change that could be, you know, come, you know, be brought by technology. With quality food assured, the next area of intervention was in facilitating the group's access to markets. Besides uh, doing domestic, domestic I know they have done it several. But uh, I mean, uh, Pukisumu, Nairobi, Eldoret, Mombasa, they've been doing it. Uh, they've done to Dubai, they've done to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, but we are telling them even Tanzania and uh, yeah, Uganda, Southern Sudan, it's doable. The cooperative is growing stronger by the day with an expanding asset base and membership running into hundreds, effectively increasing the income opportunities for more small-scale farmers. We have 140 members. I would say in total worth, we are over, we have over 11 million now. We connected them with one Dubai importer and one Saudi importer. Uh, we have also connected them to one trader from Nairobi who was buying and taking the products to Kisumu and to Eldoret. They have been linked with the Export Promotion Council. 
and the Export Promotion Council have uh, also supported them in terms of websites. They have got now their email and uh, they were trained, supported by SMV, by Export Promotion Council. They were trained on how to go about the export. New technology and partnerships from the Netherlands have developed much to the benefit of the community. We are partnering on the, 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 the production, the planting of mangoes and making sure that in the first one year that mango tree does not grow, I mean does not die because they are bringing an innovation about a box which once you plant your tree and you fill that box with water, that water will not, it will not dry until the second year. Already, the project has increased the household incomes of many farmers and created employment opportunities, especially for the rural youth. They come and buy me mangoes to, the, to my land with a higher price rather than those people who come locally to buy the mangoes. They buy the mangoes at a piece of around 10 or above 10 shillings. Okay. They also help to distribute the medicine. If I'm, I don't have the medicine, they cater for the medicine. They come and also offer hand devices, hand devices on how to, how to reclaim the land, how to take care of the land. Yeah. This year, I managed to sell uh, 14 tons of mango, citrus, citrus. And before, I never sold even four tons. Of course, you don't speak of much money. I said it's good money. Yeah. <laughs>